Hey guys, how you doing? Dan Higgins over here at Astro World, and thank you so much for returning to our Eagle 3 tutorial. This is part four, AP host and Wi-Fi. So as always, please subscribe and like our videos, comment below on the YouTube videos and the Facebook page, please. We'd love to hear from all of our listeners and watchers. Uh, thank you so much for the support. So without further ado, let's go to part four, AP and host Wi-Fi. Okay, so once you boot up, the Eagle's gonna to default to its AP mode and it will start to broadcast its Eagle Wi-Fi SSID. But if you wanna hook up to your home network, you could do that as well, and it's very simple. The first thing you need to do is turn on the Eagle and connect your device. Once that's done and the Eagle Manager pops up, there's an Advanced Settings tab on the bottom right. Click on that and a few seconds later, the Advanced Settings window will pop up. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the host Wi-Fi dialog box. Use the drop-down arrow in order to select your Wi-Fi network. Once you're done with selecting the network, put in the correct password underneath. It's extremely important to put in the correct password because if you don't, the Eagle will never ever connect to your network. Once you're done with that, click OK. Now before you go jump in the gun and look all happy and you want to hit that host button and switch over to your wireless network in your house, don't do it because it's still not connected to the network. It just has the credentials loaded in. What you have to do is you gotta go down to the bottom right hand corner where that little radar is, where all the network wireless networks are. Click on that, click on your wireless network, go under the properties of it, and make sure you check the box that says connect automatically, and then connect to that network. Once you hit connect automatically and it saves and the Eagle is connected to your home wireless network, feel free to hit the host button. You'll receive a warning dialog saying that, okay, the Eagle is going to be moved to the other one. You may lose connection. Make sure you connect your computer to your home network or else you're not going to be able to access the Eagle. Click OK and then the Eagle will transfer to your host network. If you made a mistake, that's okay. You could always reset the Eagle back to AP mode by hitting the little black button to the left of the power button. Once you hear the beep, the Eagle will begin to retransmit its Eagle onboard Wi-Fi. You can then reconnect to the Eagle, go into the advanced settings, and enter the correct credentials for your host Wi-Fi. Now you need to set a new computer in your RD client or your Microsoft remote desktop connection. First, you're going to have to verify the IP address of your Eagle. It's going to be different than your IP address from when you were in AP mode. I downloaded a piece of software called WNet Watcher. It's free, and after a couple seconds of scanning your network, it's going to show the Eagle the correct IP address, and you'll be good to go. For Android devices, believe it or not, you could use the Fing app, F-I-N-G, or Fing app. Um, I'll use Fing. I think it's kind of funny. But um, you could use that app, and that will show every single device on your network. So even if you want to see if somebody else is trying to steal your internet and it's not secure, well, you could use that for that as well. But um, it will say Eagle, it'll say the IP address, and it's a pretty great thing. So uh, so either the Fing app or uh, WNet Watcher for Windows, either one will work fine. Once you have the correct IP address in RD client or Microsoft remote desktop connection, you're gonna to have to enter that IP address as your new computer name. Okay, so I found a glitch for all you Chromebook users out there. Now I use a Chromebook to connect to my Eagle, but I had a real big issue trying to figure this out. So I hope this helps. So once you go into RD client, you're gonna to have to put in the IP address originally that you found when you're on your network. Then, under advanced settings, you're going to have to use the original 192.168.137.1 as the gateway. And as always, for the password, you're going to put Prima Luce Lab with the P, the L, and the L capitalized. Once you click connect, it'll ask you for the Windows password for your four digit password that was on that sheet that I showed you in part two, I believe, of the video. And that's all there is to the AP and host Wi-Fi video. So thank you for watching. Coming up next, part five of our Eagle 3 tutorial, software installations. This is where we show you how to load up all that wonderful software you're gonna need to make this Eagle a success. 
So thank you for watching this video tutorial. My name is Dan from Astroworld. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, please like, and please comment below. We'd love to hear from our listeners. So again, just remember, keep imaging, keep educating, keep having fun. My name is Dan from Astroworld. Thank you for watching.